everyone, it's Marcy Denning here from Stampin' with Marcy. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Canada and I sell all of the products that I show you. I'm here today with the Creating Kindness Design Team for our monthly blog and video hop and this month our theme is coloring. So today I chose to create a card for you that I have colored in with my watercolor pencils. I have my Whisper White and my Pumpkin Pie. So I'm going to move this out of the way and let's get started. Now all of uh, the team members do not have a, a video. They don't always um, produce a video. But the ones that do will be linked below in the uh, video description. So please be sure to um, click on the links below to see everybody's uh, videos. And all of the participants will have a blog. So the blog um, link will be in the video description as well. Please pop by my blog to see what everybody has created for this month's theme. I thought that this card with the snowman on the crumb cake would be super cute um, to color in with my um, watercolor pencils to give it more of a rustic look. So to create, I don't want my um, arms to be that long so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and ink up just part of it and then line it up and stamp it. And then do the exact same thing for the other side. Just like that. Okay, so my little snowman, he's got his arms on. And now we want to stamp our Let It Snow sentiment. I'm stamping it in the um, Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Okay, and we're gonna put it just up a bit because we want the snowflakes all around. Okay. Now I'm going to color in my snowman before I um, put my snowflakes around because I'll be using my um, Whisper White Craft Stampin' Pad and that does take a few more moments to dry. So I want to color in first so that I'm not smearing my ink. So all I'm gonna do is come over with my pumpkin pie for the nose and then come in with my whisper white avoiding those dots for his my snowman's smile and his cheeks kind of coloring around Have you started your Christmas cards yet? I like to get an early start as I send out quite a few to my family, friends, team members, customers. I like to send them out the beginning of December if I can, if I've got them all created. And I keep a running list so that I remember year to year who I sent them to and who I received in case, in case I receive one that I haven't sent a card to. That way I've can get one popped in the mail to them 
because inevitably you do forget. There's always that. Oops, I forgot that person. So you want to make sure that you get one out to them. This is a fairly quickly quick card to create. Doesn't take too awful long to color in with the watercolor pencils. And I'm going fairly heavy um, as this is not watercolor paper. So you can't really blend it too much because you will pill your paper. So I want to make sure that I have a thick enough base of my pencil crayon here. Now my Snowman Season stamp set is from the Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog and it can be found on page 19 and my um, designer series paper that I'm using is wrapped in plaid and that is on page 13 of the holiday catalog. And if you live in Canada and you do not have a, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you currently work with and would like a catalog, please um, message me. I would love to send you one of these fabulous catalogs. They are just full of inspiration and ideas. Okay, so it's right there and there. And there you see we've got him all colored in. Isn't he cute? Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my uh, Whisper White ink pad. And let's just move this out of the way. And I'm just going to random stamp all around. I'm flipping my, my uh, stamp upside down so that I can see that I've got good coverage. And if I can just get turning my cardstock so that I've got easy positioning. Oh, let's turn that this way. Turning my stamp so that it's not the, all the same orientation. You want your snowflakes to be this way and that way. And you could put more or you could put less, um, whatever you choose. I just really want to fill this. I think I'm going to be putting more than I did on my original sample because it looks more fun to me. cute is that okay so next we're going to take and fold our golden burnish our card base and I'm going to stamp some snowflakes in the bottom corners here and the bottom corner and the top so that we've got a few snowflakes peeking out. Let's put one more here. A few snowflakes peeking out from underneath. Okay, so actually before we glue that, 
fold this over. It's full of craft ink. And let's, I'm not going to, you're not going to be able to see that he's got, I can't color on this because white on white's not going to show, but we can put his little head there. And one arm there. I think that'll look nicer to have a little bit of something on the inside. And then we can just color his little nose. Okay, and now we're going to bring in, move this aside. Bring in my liquid glue and my craft silicone sheet. All of the dimensions will be on my blog, as well as, like I said, all of the other team members. Um, links will be on there for you to hop along with us, please. Um, share my video, sharing is caring. If you know of anybody that um, enjoys crafting. Okay, move that to the side. Looks like my snowman here, he's in a snowstorm. I may have gone a little overboard. I'm just using a little bit of my Tombow glue. Trying to avoid touching the snowflakes because they still are a little tacky. And what I'm actually going to do is take this, flip it upside down, and give it a press. I'm not moving. Um, it around because I don't want to smudge those snowflakes. Okay, and now I'm almost done my dimensionals here. I'm going to put a few dimensionals on the back side to pop this up. I like to use every last little bit. So, where's my snips? Right over here. That. I want to make sure that I've got enough so that it's not going to sag. That should be good. Remove the backing. All of the measurements as well as product links will be listed on my blog for easy shopping if you're wanting to purchase any of the items that I have used. Of course, you have to live in Canada to shop with me, but I truly do appreciate any, um, any orders that you place with me. A little a little crooked there. There we go. Much better. And there you have it. Here is my original and here is the one I created with you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I truly do appreciate it. And remember, the links are below for the other team members that have produced uh, videos. And head on over to my blog to uh, click on all of the links to hop with all of the uh, Creating Kindness Design team members. Thanks again. Bye for now.